Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunichinanda Shri Advaita Gidadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Jai Shil Prabhupada Esi Bhaktivedanta Swami Fandracharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness So, continue reading from the Chaitanya Bhagavat, and this is um, Chaitanya Leela, presented by Vrindavan Das Thakur. And this is the Madhya Kanda, Chapter 23, entitled, Wandering in Navadweep City. Glory, glory to Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who is a treasure house of transcendental virtues. Glory to Lord Chaitanya, the maintainer of the worlds. Glory to Lord Chaitanya, the great treasure cherished by Lord Shiva and the demigods. Glory, glory to Lord Chaitanya, who is the king of the Brahmins and dear to Lord Nityananda. Glory, glory to Lord Chaitanya's devotees. Lord Chaitanya enjoyed pastimes in Navadvipa but those pastimes were not seen by the eyes of all. Day after day, Lord Chaitanya, the king of Vaikuntha, was present in Navadweep city. Accompanied by most dear Nityananda, he enjoyed many pastimes. Accompanied by his devotees, he relished the nectar of his own holy names. Every evening he performed kirtan. Only the devotees and none else were allowed in these kirtans. Lord Chaitanya's powers were very glorious. No one in the three worlds had the power to know their limit. Barred from the kirtan, five or ten persons complained. They were hurrying to Yamaraj abode. One of them said, Who can be a true Vaishnava in Kali Yuga? These people are only pretending so they can fill their bellies. Another one said, If we tie their hands and feet and throw them in the water, then all our sufferings will go away. Another one said, Oh, my brothers, please know for certain this Nimai Pandit will destroy our village. Sometimes they would threaten the devotees to gain entrance and see the kirtan, but they were not fortunate at heart. What could they accomplish by mere expert plans and tricks? Lord Chaitanya performed kirtan. In this way, he purified the thoughts of everyone in the world. Unable to see Lord's kirtan, some people blamed themselves, saying, We are unfortunate, and they sighed. Some asked the devotees to secretly bring them inside so they could see the kirtan. All the Lord's servants knew, The Lord knows everything, and afraid no one would bring anyone in. A certain austere, saintly, and faultless brahmachari lived in Navadweep. He always lived only by drinking milk. He never even ate rice. The Brahmin yearned to see the Lord's kirtan. Lord Chaitanya personally closed the doors and began the kirtan. Only the devotees and none else were allowed to enter. Every day this Brahmin came to Srivas' house. He yearned to see the Lord's dancing. He would say, If for one day you're merciful to me, Please allow me to enter the house. Then I'll be able to see the great pandits dance. Then my eyes will have attained their goal. Then I will attain the goal of my life. Every day the Brahmin repeated this request. One day Srivas replied, I know you have always been a very good person. The time has not come for you to taste the fruit of your long brahmachari. I know that no sins stay in your body. You're qualified to see the Lord's kirtan. The Lord's order is that no one should enter. Therefore, I tell you, I will secretly let you in. Speaking these words, he let the Brahmin inside and gave him a place to hide. Lord Chaitanya, the master of the 14 worlds, began to dance. In the four directions were the very fortunate devotees. Everyone sang, Krishna, Ram, Mukunda, Marari, Vanamali. There was a great tumult. Nichananda and Gadadhar embraced. Advaita joyfully ran in the four directions. Overcome with spiritual bliss, no one was in external consciousness 
Lord Chaitanya, the king of Vaikuntha, danced. Haribo, Haribo, all oh my brothers, Haribo. No one could hear any sounds but these. Lord Chaitanya wept, trembled, and loudly roared. The hairs of his body stood erect. Who can describe all his symptoms of ecstasy? Lord Chaitanya, the crest jewel of the all-knowing, knew. A Brahmin is hiding here. Stopping, Lord Chaitanya said, Why do I not feel ecstasy today? I know someone is hiding in this house. More I don't know, but tell me the truth. Frightened, Shiva said, Lord, no blasphemer has come to this house. There is only one good Brahmin brahmachari. He's living only by drinking milk. His whole life he is sinless. With great faith he wants to see you dancing. He's hiding now. This you know very well. Hearing this, Lord Chaitanya angrily said, Quickly, quickly, take him from this house. What power has he to see my dancing? By drinking milk he will become my devotee? Raising his arms and spreading his fingers, Lord Chaitanya declared, Merely by drinking milk no one has ever attained me. If an outcast takes shelter of me, then he is mine and I am his. Know that without doubt. If a sannyasi does not take shelter of me, then he's not mine. I speak the truth. What austerities did Gajendra or the monkeys or the gopas do? How did they attend me? Tell. The demons perform austerities. What happens to them? Without taking shelter of me, no one has the power to attain me. Then the Lord said, Merely by drinking milk, one does not get the power to attain me. When I see that fellow, I'll rip him to pieces. Frightened, the brahmachari went outside. In his heart, the saintly brahmin thought, I'm very fortunate that I briefly saw the Lord. Only because of my offenses was I punished. I saw his wonderful dancing, his wonderful kirtan. Only because of my offenses was I rebuked. When the Lord punishes him, a true devotee thinks in this way. Thinking in this way, the Brahmin walked. Lord Chaitanya, the super soul in the hearts of all, knew the Brahmin's thoughts. Calling for him and bringing him back, Lord Chaitanya, an ocean of kindness, placed his lotus feet on the Brahmin's head. The Lord said to him, Don't try to become powerful by performing austerities. Know that devotional service to Lord Vishnu is the best of all spiritual activities. The Brahmin wept with joy. He always remembered the Lord's kindness, happily calling out, Hari, Hari, the devotees offered Dandabad obeisances. <clears throat> Anyone who faithfully hears these confidential pastimes will certainly meet Lord Chaitanya. That meeting is inevitable. After thus giving his mercy to the Brahmin, Lord Chaitanya danced in ecstasy. I offer my respectful obeisances to that Brahmin who thought in that way when the Lord punished him. In this way, the Lord performed kirtan every evening. The non-devotees did not have the power to see them. <clears throat> For this reason, the people of Nadia were unhappy at heart. The pious people rebuked the materialists and the blasphemers. The good sense of these sinners and blasphemers completely destroyed. Because of them, we cannot see great festivals. The sinners and blasphemers speak ill of everyone. Because of them, we are cheated of seeing these kirtans. Nimai Pandit will never open the door to those sinners and blasphemers. He's a great devotee of Lord Krishna. That we all know. His heart is supremely pure. If we have true devotion for the Lord, then someday we will certainly see his dancing. Some of the townspeople said, Brothers, let us wait here. Eventually we will fill our eyes with the sight of this kirtan. To deliver the entire world, Nimai Pandit has come to Nadia. In town after town, home after home, at every door he will perform kirtan. This I tell you. Every time the Lord descends to this world, the pious people become fortunate and the blasphemer Pandits perish. When day came, all the pious people of Nadia went to see the Lord. Some brought new goods, some held bananas in their hands, some brought ghee, some yogurt, some splendid garlands. Everyone had come to see the Lord. Seeing the Lord, everyone offered Dandabad obeisances, and the Lord said, All of you, please, devotedly serve Lord Krishna. 
please always chant Lord Krishna's names and describe his glories. The Lord personally taught them, please happily hear from me the Maha Mantra of Lord Krishna's names. It is Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The Lord said, regularly chant japa of this mantra. In this way you will attain all perfections. Chant at any time, in any circumstance. There are no other rules for chanting. Gather together five or ten in your own homes, clap hands, sing kirtan of these holy names. You may also sing these words. Hare Nama Krishna Yadavaya Namaha Gopala Govinda Ram Shimadu Sudan Gathering at home with parents, wife, children, please sing kirtan in this way. Attaining these mantras from the Lord's own mouth, everyone became joyful. They offered dandabad obeisances and then they returned to their homes. With mind and body always thinking of the Lord's feet, they always chanted japa of the holy names of Lord Krishna. At sunset, they gathered in their homes, clapping their hands and performing kirtan. In this way, Sachi San established kirtan in village after village. Picking them up, Lord Chaitanya embraced everyone. He personally placed garlands around their necks. Placing a blade of grass between his teeth, the Lord begged, O oh, my brothers, please worship Lord Krishna day and night. Gazing at the Lord, everyone wept. Engaging their voices, thoughts, and bodies, they performed Sankirtan. Clapping their hands, the townspeople joyfully chanted, Ram and Narayan. In every home were sounds of murdangas, kartals, conch shells. People played the instruments played at goddess Durga's festivals. At the time of Kirtan, they played all these instruments with happy hearts. Everyone sang. Hari, and then Rama, Rama, and then Hari, and then Rama, Rama. In this way, the holy names of the Lord arose in the village. Chanting and chanting Lord Hari's holy names, the banana leaf seller Sridhar was walking down the road. Hearing the kirtan, he began to dance wildly. That great servant of Lord Chaitanya was overcome with bliss. Seeing joyful Sridhar, the townspeople surrounded him. Now the kirtan was in the four directions around him. In tasting the nectar of ecstatic love, Sridhar rolled on the ground. Standing aloof, the materialist laughed. One sinner said, Oh, my brothers, look, the banana leaf seller has become a Vaishnav. He has no proper clothing, there's no food in his belly, and he, everyone wants to, he wants everyone to know, I am in ecstasy. Another said, They are celebrating Goddess Durga's festival at the wrong time. Even though the blasphemers spoke in this way, the townspeople daily chanted Lord Krishna's holy names. Day, one day, by divine arrangement, the Kazi was walking on the road. He could hear the Madangas, Kartals, and conch shells. Hearing the tumult of Lord Hari's holy names in the four directions, the Kazi remembered his own scripture. The Kazi called out, Catch them, catch them, today I will act. What will your teacher Nimai Pandit do now? There was a great commotion. The townspeople fled. Frightened, some did not even tie their hair. Some successfully fled, and the Kazi had others beaten. He broke Madangas. He acted badly. The Kazi said, There is still Hinduism in Nadia. I will punish the Hindus. Night is coming, for now I will forgive. Do this on another day, and I will take away your caste. Every day on the Kazi's order, a gang of thuns wandered around the town, looking for any kirtan. Unhappy, the people hid. The Kazi's men attacked and beat Hindus. Some said, Lord Hari's name should be chanted in the mind. What Purana says one should make a great commotion of chanting. They who jump over the Vedas' words will be punished. These people are not afraid that they will lose their caste. Nimai Pandit's very proud. Soon the Kazi will rip his pride to pieces. Nichananda, who wanders from village to village, will some day see all these happy things. They call us blasphemers. These people are all hypocrites. Soon they will all run from Nadia. Afraid, no one answered. They all went to the Lord and said, Afraid of the Kasi, we can no longer perform kirtan. Every day he sends a thousand men wandering about. We will leave Nadia and go to another place. 
we place this news before your feet. Hearing that the kirtan was stopped, Lord Chaitanya became angry. He became like Lord Shiva personified. Sachi's son made a thunderous cry. Touching his ears, the townspeople called out. Touching their ears, the townspeople called out, Hari! Lord Chaitanya said, Nichananda, give me your attention. At this moment, go to all the Vaishnavas' homes. Today I will do kirtan in all of Navadvip. I will see who will do what to me. I will see. Today I will set the Kazi's door and house on fire. What will the king do? That I will see. Today I'll make a great rainstorm of pure devotional service and ecstatic love for Lord Krishna. Today time personified stands before the blasphemers. O people of Nadia, O my brothers, go. Go everywhere and repeat this order. Let everyone who wishes to see Lord Krishna's secret come here with a torch. I will smash the Kazi's house. I will perform kirtan at the Kazi's door, and I will see what he will do. The numberless universes are filled with the servants of my servants. Why be afraid when I am present? No one should feel in their hearts even half a sesame seed's worth of fear. Everyone should eat lunch and then quickly assemble here in the afternoon. Then the townspeople left. The hairs on their bodies stood up. How could the people eat lunch? Going from house to house, they said, Today, Nimai Pandit will dance in village after village. In the past, thousands and millions of people in Nadia lamented because they did not see Lord Chaitanya dance. Now there was a great joy in home after home, for now Lord Chaitanya would openly dance in village after village. If a father made a torch, the son would also make his own torch. Everyone worked happily. No one could stop him. One made a large torch, and another also made a large torch. All made large torches. Great, great barrels of oil were used for the torches. Countless millions of people lived in Nadia. Who had the power to count the torches there? Everyone became busy. Some people made a thousand torches. The town of Nadia was filled with torches. Women, children, and elders all became very happy. Who but Lord Krishna himself has the power to do all this? Only the sinners do not understand this truth. Thus, by a single casual order, all of Navadvip came bearing torches to the Lord. Hearing that all the Vaishnavas had come, Sachi son gave them instructions. Lord Advaita would dance in front. Some devotees would sing in his group. Haridas would dance in the middle. Some devotees would sing by his side. Then Srivas Pandit would dance, and some devotees would sing in his group. Then Lord Chaitanya looked at Ichinanda. Ichinanda said, I will never leave you. Wherever I go, I will take you with me. That is my duty, not for a single sesame seed's worth of time, while I ever abandon your f the feet you keep in my heart. Lord, what power have I to dance independently away from you? As you act, so do I. That is my devotional service to you. Seeing tears of bliss and love streaming over Lord Yananda's limbs, Lord Chaitanya embraced him and kept him always by his side. The hearts of all became filled with bliss. Some danced in separate groups and some danced by the Lord's side. Oh, my brothers, please hear attentively of this kirtan in the city. One who hears this description kills his past karma. Gradhar, Vikeshwar, Marari Srivas, Gopinath, Jagadish, Gangadas Vipra, Ramai, Govinda Nandana, Sri Chandra Shekhar, Vasudev, Sri Garba, Mukunda, Sridhar, Govinda, Jagadananda, Nandanacharya, Suklambar, and many others were in that kirtan. Who knows all the names of Lord Chaitanya's numberless servants? In the future, Veda Vyas will reveal their names in the Puranas. What human being has the power to say how Lord Chaitanya danced with his associates, servants, weapons, and confidential companions? What wonderful pastimes did the Lord reveal when he became the son of Sachi? Little by little, Lord Chaitanya's joy grew. In this way, the afternoon passed. What bliss was in the devotees' hearts? The devotees floated in an ocean of happiness. Lord Chaitanya, goddess Lakshmi's husband, would dance in the city. Seeing this would happen, everyone felt all their sufferings would soon perish. 
the women, children, elders, and all other moving and unmoving living entities who saw the dancing became freed from all material bondage. Who was not in ecstasy? Then the sun set. Millions and millions of people were at the Lord's door. They filled the universe with the sounds of Hari. Then the Lord, who was Sachi's son, made a great sound, a sound that filled the ears of all. That sound excited everyone. Calling out, Hari, everyone lighted their torches. In the four directions, thousands and millions of torches burned brilliantly. In the four directions, thousands and millions of people chanted Hari. Who has the power to describe the glory of all this? What great bliss descended on that place, I do not know. How splendid is the moon? How splendid is the sun? How splendidly do the stars shine? I do not know even slightly. The sky became filled with light. It was as if Lord Krishna himself stood there in the form of light. Fair-limbed, handsome, Lord Chaitanya called out, Hari, all the Vaishnavas became agitated. The kirtan surrounded Lord Chaitanya. The devotees' bodies were garlanded with flowers and anointed with sandal paste and red palgu powder. Playing kartals, everyone made a glorious sound. Their power defeated millions of lions. In the four directions, the devotees surrounded the Lord, who is Sachi's son. Everyone around the Lord drank the nectar of dancing, chanting, Hari, everyone floated in bliss. Gazing at the Lord's face, everyone became free of material sufferings. Everyone blissfully chanted, Hari. Or Chaitanya's handsomeness defeated millions of Kamadevs. I cannot speak any metaphor or simile to describe how handsome the Lord was. Still, by the Lord's mercy, I will say something to describe him. Who has the power to describe him completely? His form was effulgent like God. He was the essence of all the Vedas. Anointed with sandal paste, he was like the moon personified. On his curly hair was a splendid jasmine garland. Defeating all beauties the arts can create, he smiled very sweetly. Sandal paste and drops of palgu paste shone on his forehead. He raised his arms, and with his graceful moon-like mouth, he chanted, Hari. Reaching to his knees, a great garland swung to and fro across his body. His entire body was wet with tears from his lotus eyes. His great arms were like two golden pillars. His limbs, with hair standing up, were like golden kadamba flowers. His lips were very red. His teeth were beautiful. His glorious eyebrows reached almost to the root of his ears. His shoulders defeated the king of elephants. His chest was broad. His white and thin sacred thread was splendid. Lakshmi and Tulsi stayed at his lotus feet. His garments were fine, pure, and splendid. His nose was raised, and his neck was charming like a lion's neck. His body was very tall and fair. The people said, Look how the Lord's hair is beautiful with many flowers. A great multitude was present there. Even a great host of mustard seeds fallen to the ground would not equal the number of people there. Having attained his mercy, everyone there happily gazed at the Lord's face. Gazing at the Lord's face, the ladies made auspicious sounds and chanted Hari at every moment. Every doorway was decorated with bananas, coconuts, mangoes, and full water pots. Beautiful ghee lamps burned. Yogurt, rice, and dervagrass were sprinkled on the splendid walkways. Every doorway in Nadia was like this. Who arranged for all this? I do not know. Every man and woman followed the Lord. Filled with bliss, they were not aware of anything else. The thieves thought, this is our opportunity. Now we'll rob every house. At the end, also filled with ecstasy, the thieves forgot all about robbing others. Placing the word hurry in their mouths, they did not enter anyone's house. Some threw piped rice and coins on the path, and some followed the procession. It was great joy. Please do not think these descriptions are all exaggerations. When Lord Krishna enjoys pastimes, things like this happen. In an eye blink, Lord Krishna made 900,000 jewel palaces appear in Dorka. When Lord Krishna enjoyed water pastimes with the Yadavas, in the ocean around Dwarka, 
The salt water ocean suddenly became transformed into an ocean of nectar. The confidential pastimes are described in the Harivamsa. Please do not doubt them. Overcome with bliss, Lord Chaitanya danced in a kirtan of his own holy names. All auspiciousness came there. Dancing, Lord Chaitanya proceeded on the path of the Ganga shore, chanting Hari. Everyone ran before and behind him. Lord Advaita and his group went ahead. Dancing, they proceeded with great bliss. Then came Haridas, who was a nectar ocean of love for Lord Krishna. On the Lord's order, gracefully dancing, Haridas proceeded on the path. Then Srivas danced as he proceeded on the path. His actions were all pastimes filled with the bliss of love for Lord Krishna. These devotees went before the Lord. Another group of devotees surrounded the Lord and sang. Dancing very gracefully, the other devotees followed behind Lord Chaitanya. All the devotees sang with voices sweet like nectar. Perhaps they had never sung before, but now they sang very well. Murari, Mukunda Dutt, Ramai, Govinda, Vakeshra, and Vasudev led the devotees. Surrounded by these singers, Lord Chaitanya danced. Filled with bliss, the Lord's group proceeded on the path. Nichinanda and Gadadhar were at the Lord's two sides. They both swam in a nectar ocean of ecstatic love. Dancing and dancing, Lord Chaitanya proceeded on the path. Thousands and millions of people ran to see him. Millions and millions of torches brightly burned. Their light was like moonlight on the bodies of all. In the four directions, millions and millions of torches brilliantly burned. In the four directions, millions and millions of people chanted Hari. Gazing at the Lord's dancing and wonderful ecstatic symptoms, Everyone in Nadia became agitated with transcendental bliss. One moment the Lord's limbs were covered with dust. The next moment his limbs were washed with tears from his eyes. Seeing the Lord's ecstatic symptoms of trembling, perspiring, and bodily hair standing erect, even the blasphemers felt their thoughts begin to dance. A great tumult of Lord Krishna's holy names arose in the town. Everywhere, everyone chanted Hari. Everywhere, everyone danced chanting Hari and Rama, Rama, and Hari and Rama, Rama. All the fortunate people danced. In place after place, five or ten people would meet in this way. Some sang, some played musical instruments, and in the middle some danced. Thousands and thousands and millions and millions of people were there. Blissfully dancing, they proceeded in Navadweep. They sang, Hari Nama Krishna Yadavaya Namaha Gopala Govinda Ram Shimadu Sudan. Some danced alone, some clapping their hands, danced in groups of five or ten. Some carried in their two hands torches and oil that was the torches' food. How were all these wonders happening? I think it was like Vaikuntha come to Navadweep. The spiritual nature of Vaikuntha was then present on the earth. Every living entity had become a four armed resident of Vaikuntha. Still, overcome with the bliss for love, Krishna, no one knew it. Everyone now had four hands, but no one knew it. They had forgotten all about themselves. How could they know it? In this way, the bliss of Vaikuntha came to Navadweep. Dancing, everyone proceeded on the path by the Ganga's bank. As he went, Lord Chaitanya had become like Nanda's son. Garlanded with forest flowers and a charming flute in his hand, he proceeded on the path. In this way, everyone performed kirtan. They forgot their bodies and their duties. They forgot all their sufferings and their lamentations. Some rolled on the ground. Some slapped their arms. Some found many words appearing on their tongues. Some said, Where will this rascal Kazi go now? If I catch him, I will sever his head and throw it away. Some went off to catch some blasphemers. Some, speaking the names of certain blasphemers, struck the ground with their fists. How many people played madungas? I do not know. How many people blissfully sang? I do not know. It was as if a great shower of ecstatic love fed, fell on all of Nadia. The Lord's servants in Vaikuntha always yearned to find such a shower. All the people of Nadia floated in the nectar of bliss, the same bliss that overwhelms Brahma, Shiva, and Ananta Shesh. Dancing with his associates, servants, weapons, and confidential companions, 
the king of Vaikuntha proceeded on the path by the Ganga's bank. Never had such bliss come to the earth. Every path in every direction was filled with bliss. It was as if there was no longer even a single sesame seed's worth of a sin anywhere on the earth. The highest purity was present in every place. Dancing, handsome and fair-limbed, Lord Chaitanya proceeded on the path. Surrounding him in the four directions, the singing devotees followed him. I place my heart at your feet. Well aware of what is best, I place my heart at your feet. This was Lord Chaitanya's first Sankirtan. And the devotees sang, and Lord Chaitanya danced. Everyone accompanied Lord Chaitanya in the kirtan. Where are we going? No one knew. Thousands and millions of people sang the names of Lord Hari. It was as if, hearing the kirtan, the material universe was about to break apart. All the worlds, up to Brahma Loka, Shiva Loka, Vaikuntha Loka, became filled with bliss. The bliss had no end. Accompanied by their associates, the demigods came to see. Seeing, they and their associates fell unconscious. That moment all the demigods attained Lord Chaitanya's association. Assuming human forms, they joined in the kirtan. Brahma, Shiva, Varuna, Kuvera, Indra, Yamaraj, Soma, and many other demigods came. Seeing the wonderful and unprecedented spiritual bliss, they all assumed human forms and attained Lord Chaitanya's association. In this way, the demigods and human beings together chanted, Hari, filling the sky, all the great torches burnt brightly. At every doorway were banana trees, full water pots, rice, derva grass, lamps, and mangoes. Who has the power to describe the opulences of Nadia? Within it were numberless towns, houses, courtyards, and marketplaces. Hundreds of millions of people lived there. Who is foolish enough to try to count them all? When the Lord descended to this world, he arranged that all people would take birth there. That is why so many people lived in that one place. The women called out, Jai and Hari. Even in a hundred thousand years, I could not describe the glory of these pastimes. Everyone gazed at the Lord as he danced. No one had the power to think of anything but him. Seeing the Lord's mercy and hearing him weep, even the most sinful debauchees fell to the ground and also wept calling out, chant, chant, handsome and fair-limbed Lord Chaitanya danced. A very charming flower garland decorated his entire body. The Lord wore a sacred thread and thrice-folded garments. His eyes were lotus flowers. His body was covered with dust. His tears of love flowed like the celestial Ganga. Anyone who sees his face will no longer think the moon to be very glorious. Tears flowed all along his nose without stop, tears like a slender string of pearls. His handsome curly hair was wonderfully bound and splendid with a string of jasmine flowers. O oh Lord, please give me this gift birth after birth. Please always enjoy pastimes in my heart. The whole world spoke this prayer as the Lord who is Sachi's son gracefully danced. The dearest devotees danced in front, and he who was the king of Vaikuntha danced behind them. Lord Chaitanya knows how to encourage his devotees. As the devotees acted, so did he. In this way, Lord Chaitanya danced and danced. Accompanied by everyone, the Lord proceeded on the Ganga's path. He who was the king of Vaikuntha danced in all of Nadia. In the four directions, the devotees sang his sacred glories. O bewildered people, Chant, hurry, chant, hurry, hurry. When even the dim reflection of the holy name is present, there is no longer any fear of Yamaraj. As everyone sang these words, Lord Chaitanya, whose two lotus feet Brahma and all the demigods danced. <laughs> 